Welcome fellow makers and making enthusiasts to Pandora's Props. In this video I'll be making Axon's Tomahawk. It's what he uses for melee attacks and hangs off the back of his belt. It's going to be part of my Axton costume that I'll wear for PAX this year. It's not the first foam prop that I've made. I also did a Siren class mod for a friend who played as Maya. But it is going to be the first one that I seal and paint. It was difficult to pull good pictures of it from the game, so I went to Google and found a picture that someone had pulled from uh, a PC version of the game. If this is your picture, let me know. I want to thank you and give you credit. I whipped up this outline of the head, and I'll use that to trace. So I'm gonna try just cutting through all of this. Nothing is stuck down. I don't really see anything going wrong with this. Oops, except that. That uh, worked actually really well. What's next? Not going bad at all, yet. One of these gets cut off up here, and one's going to get uh, left about that long so that when I glue the handles on, one of them goes up to here. Well, okay, it's hard to explain, but I'm just going to have to trust me on this. There. I should do this with brown. It would be easier to draw on. are going to go like that but I really want a wire in the middle or that's going to be way too floppy this should be about the right size yep That's not hard at all. Okay, that was a little too easy, I'm worried. You glue everything together. I uh, I don't see what could go wrong. Oh, ah, oh, come on! Starting to think my dining room is not a well ventilated area. Why is it curling? It's not part of the deal. Shouldn't be curling. That's that's not helping anything. Definitely shouldn't be curling. All 
right. And it's flexible, yet rigid. And uh, that's, I think that's a great size. It's just got a little more trimming to do. Well, I guess I should also do these little cutouts. Okay. Someone's screaming right now. There's a better way to do that. Yeah, you're probably right. But I did it that way. Uh oh. Oh no! Shh. The uh, coat hangers in there. Yep. That happened. Oh. It's just the very, very tip of it, though. Still enough to screw the whole thing up. Of course it is. Yeah, that's fine. I think I actually got away with that. Okay, that does it for cutting and gluing. I'm gonna get to sanding. Take it all the way down to an actual edge. That would be ridiculous. Now there's also an edge on the inside of this. Pretty good. Pretty good. So according to Evil Ted, this stuff is best for filling cracks and such. Uh, that might have been too much. Okay, that was way too much. Let's see here. That might be all right. It might take a couple of applications, but uh, that should work. Sure, I'll go with that. Well, the quick seal set up. I think it'll look okay. Eh, it'll look like something. We'll find out. So next I need to uh, cut some holes here, one here. There's also two long holes that go here, but I'm gonna leave those out. I'm not gonna cut those. I'm gonna paint them on because I think my coat hanger runs through there. So I couldn't cut them anyways. Now, to cut the holes, you need a sharpened brass tube. But apparently, brass tubing is something of a rare commodity in my town. So, I found a different source of brass tube. Shell casings. I've got a 9mm here for this hole. And this 5.56 five, will do nicely for the lanyard hole in the bottom. Just need to sharpen them with my X-Acto. That should be sharp enough. I tested it out. They both seem to work. So I'll start with this one. And I'll hope that my coat hanger isn't in the way. Get a reference pickup. Okay. Right about there should do it. Oh, tell me I'm not hitting the coat hanger, please. Yes! Got it. All the way through. Two layers. Boop. I like that. This one might be a little more difficult. I'd like a slightly larger hole. But, I'm working with what I've got right now. And I don't shoot 45. Okay. Cool. All right. Pro tip. If you can't get brass tubing, 
use brass shell casings. You probably noticed my can doesn't have a label on it. Yeah, I grabbed the silver instead of the uh, clear coat when I was doing my Torg three way Hulk. Ended up laying silver down over a nice two tone paint job had to redo it so now I won't do that again and we are back at my dining room table I've got a couple of practice pieces of cardboard I went ahead and sprayed with the uh, silver now I figured if I can kind of dry brush it All right like that kind of mash it and then Keep it like that. That's good, that's good. What about if I kind of wipe it on with a paper towel? What does that look like? That's, now that's good too. Maybe the paper towel would do better for splotches. Oh yeah, okay, I got my techniques. Let's do this for real. some streaks also. I got a bit too much on there though. That's okay. I like that. We'll do the same on the other side. And now, because no blood effects are complete without splatter, going to whoa god okay that went horribly wrong I mean it looks good but way too much a little bit less yeah I like that I don't think the yeah the water is not necessary that's just making things worse Ugh. all right yeah oh perfect oh I like that okay cool Yes, yes, leave it. Don't want to overdo it. Rad, look at that. So now we add the cell shading lines. I think I'm just going to do time lapse. That way I can watch something on TV while I do this which is the best way to do these kinds of tedious bits.
that cell shaded. When I lay a coat of uh, finish on it, that sheen will sit down and it won't be so reflective. And I'm going to do that right now. Now we cord wrap the handle. I'm going to just do a simple spiral wrap. In the ref pick that I have, it's a actual wrap. But in order to do that without gaps that would look kind of bad, you have to pull it really, really tight. And uh, I think that would just make it look more like foam if I tried to do that. So I'm going with a simple spiral wrap. Put a dab of epoxy down. Hold that paint. No, you're too light. Give me a heavy. Ah, there, bottle. That'll hold it. That's way too much epoxy. Can't see that. All right, just a little bit of epoxy like that. And the last step is tying the little lanyard knot. And it looks like it's tan cord. So I've got my tan cord. And uh, it also doesn't look like an actual lanyard, but really just the knot. Looks about like that. And they're about that long. And we don't want these to fray. That's <clears throat> Axon's tomahawk. <laughs> They come to the slaughter like drugs. Do like I do. Look at that. <laughs> 